You got a pause button. And then power down. This is the top that goes on it. I guess these are the extra flanges. They come with a 21 and a 19 in case you need it. You have straps for your bra. Um, let's see here. Extra parts and these little things that go. Um, there's a stopper for pouring milk. So, if you were to take this off, let's take this off. Then, you would put that little stopper in that hole right there. That's pretty cool. Then you pour milk and you're not spilling it everywhere. Um, and it comes with more of those and um, extra duck bills. And so, yeah. Hey everyone, I'm going to give you my review of the KRX wearable breast pump. Um, so this is what it looks like when you first receive it. Cute, nice box. Kind of reminds me of how um, the Willow breast pump um, comes in. Cute little message right here. I love that this comes with um, a little baggie where you can put... I honestly, let's see, I don't know if this all would fit in here. I think you'd have to take um, all the parts off, at least the top part off of the pump um, itself to be able to fit it into the bag nice. But it's nice that at least they included this with your breast pump and it's soft velvet. Um, so here's the pumps itself. Super easy for it to detach. Um, this is all touch like that. I will say, um, I will say that it is loud. <laughs> it's not quiet, um, for sure. I, but also I know the Willow and the LV are considered quiet as well. And I don't think they're quiet I, you can definitely hear <laughs> like you can't be discreet breast pumping which i know a lot of these breast pumps um advertise that you can do it discreetly and no one can ever tell but you can definitely hear it and if you're near people <laughs> they know what you're doing so i would say it could be a, a lot quieter um when i let me just shut that off for now um one other thing i would suggest is um for the for the company in particular um you could try to make it so um you're not hitting accidentally these buttons which i was doing while i was inside in my bra and i was pumping uh i like my shirt the bra it it was um or when i would go to adjust the the pump itself uh, I was accidentally hitting buttons, so just, um, that could be, it's, it's nothing big, it, um, it happens, but I know with the other pumps brands, like the Willow, the LV, um, they're, like, not touch, like, this one, you know, like, you have to, really, you actually have to, like, push them in, um, so you want to have to actually hit them, um, so let me try to, so it comes with these, um, these covers come off, this comes off as well, um, when you are, uh, dumping out your milk and comes with your pumps. I actually love this. Um, it comes with two chargers so you can charge both of them at the same time. I know a lot of the other ones you have to buy a second, um, charger. So, like with the Willow, in before, um, I would have to charge one at each time. And I like that this comes with two chargers. But you do have to have your own plugs to charge them in. Um, they don't come with these. 
just these. Um, so here's the instructions and everything. It tells you all of the about all the parts, about cleaning, troubleshooting, which is super helpful. I wish that it did talk about um, like flange fitting and sizing because I know as a lactation counselor myself, the flange fitting is what a lot of mamas are getting wrong. Like they think that they are a bigger size. Like before, the typical average size was a 24 millimeter, but actually um, what we're seeing, uh, the recommendations and the, the guidelines are changing, at least here in the US um, with flange fitting, that a lot of mamas are actually smaller, like a 19 or a 22 is actually uh, no, like normal, a typical average size nipple. So I do uh, think that they should add in like how to properly measure uh, for what flange that you need either. And it comes with a 19 and a 22 in, in this uh, breast pump. But I think if you don't put a flange in at all, that would be considered a 24, I believe. Um, so I guess it's nice too that that gives you the 19 and the 22. I know with other breast pumps, you have to purchase um, the smaller sizes separately. So it's nice that this includes it and you can just pop it in. Um, so that's another plus that I like about this. Um, and uh, just tells you all about uh, like the cleaning and um, troubleshooting and how to operate it which is super helpful in how to uh, take it apart when you are emptying it for your milk, which is good. I didn't spill any milk with this. Um, it was actually super easy to just plug it in. Uh, let me see, where is it? So you're using these little adapters to just plug it in when you're going to pour the milk out and um, it was super easy. Um, they give these are extra parts that they give you, which is nice. And they even give you adapters for your bra, which is so cool. Um, I didn't need them because I have nursing bras, but um, but it's nice to at least they give you the extra parts in case. And I like these bags. I know there's a ton of different, um, you know, milk bags, but I like these because you're able to. Well, let me open this up. So you're able to store it, um, but you're also able to cut it so it's easy to pour. Like this, they have a spout on here, so it's just easy to pour your milk after you defrost it and pour it into the bottle and makes it super easy. And um, I mean, maybe they could add ounces on there. I mean, some, some moms like ounces and stuff, MLs, it's really preference. And then these are just the um, 22s. I have the 19s already in here because I am a 19. It's crazy because before I used to pump with a 24 and um, I wasn't getting a lot of milk out. And um, so I actually resized both nipples because each nipple um, can be a different size. And like one can be a 19, the other one could be a 22. It, every mom is different. So definitely take into account the most important out of these is the flange fitting I th I think um so let me take this off this so when you remove the top of this it's left with this and then this closes up and then you put the stopper in here and then that's when you go to pour the milk and you're pouring the milk from it comes out of this little spout so let me just take this part. This comes right off, which is nice. And then this is what you have. And um, you're putting, this is where you're putting your nipple in. This is the flange. Um, where is the number? But the numbers are kind of hard to see, but that's a 19 millimeter. You just pop it in there, it's super easy. These are easy to clean. It's not a ton of parts. Um, I know it kind of looks like it, but it's really not. Once you get 
into it, I guess. Um, and then this easily comes off too. I do wish that it was easier to see your nipple like from the side when you do have it on. Um, I wish there was a better view. So you're kind of just like going in blindly with your nipple in here and just hoping that it's in the middle. Um, I wish it was a little easier to see from the side so they could, uh, you know, do better with that. But as far as suction and everything goes, I think the suction was great. I actually had to um, lower the suction. Uh, I mean, every pump is different. I need higher suction on, on other pumps. And then for this one, I, I needed just a four or five and that was adequate. I do know that with other pumps, it goes from the stimulation to the expression on its own once it senses, you know, your milk letdown. This one does not necessarily sense your milk letdown. It just has a timer and it's a two minute timer. So it stimulates your nipple for two minutes and then it switches over to the expression uh, mode. And um, it's, it, I mean, I guess it's fine, but you know, if your milk is already letting down and it's already flowing, then you know, you want to increase that suction and you have to manually yourself change it. So you would manually, manually yourself change it once you see your milk letting down, change it from stimulation to the expression mode and you just hit this. Um, I know with a willow, like it can, it can tell on its own and it just automatically switches over to, for you. Not a big deal again, but, um, you know, just little, some small things that could be, uh, adjusted. Overall, I do like this pump, honestly. Um, like I said, just a few changes. Um, and I like that, you know, it has the two chargers. It comes with a, you know, little bag. Um, and they're super easy to clean. There's only a few parts that you take off um, and just, you know, clean those. And it's super easy. And you can charge both of them at the same time. So, <laughs> and they're good for two hours. So, yeah, that is my review on the KRX wearable uh, breast pump. And yeah, I think this is great for some moms. Again, every pump is different. It really is preference um, and just finding, fitting yourself properly with the flanges and finding what works best for you. It has arrived. Let's unbox my new wearable breast pump. So the first thing is you're gonna get a velvet dust bag to store all of your parts and everything in. Then you're gonna get your instruction manual. You're gonna get two different sizes for your flange. You're gonna get a 19 millimeter and a 22 millimeter. They also include some extra parts, which is amazing. Then you're gonna get some breast milk bags because let's be honest, I mean, can you ever have too many? Cause I can't. Then you're gonna get two charging cables for both of the pumps. And then you're going to get the two pumps themselves. Each pump comes with a cap for storage and the motor detaches for easy cleanup. 